Does your German cuckoo clock stop working after a few minutes? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to fix it. So let's fix it. All right, so I'm really excited about this video, so let's just get right into it. Let's go ahead and remove some of the delicate pieces so they don't get damaged. This mantle piece simply slides off, and it also has a little hook right here, so we may have to unhook it. In the center of the clock where the minute's hand is, there's a little nut. What you want to do is unscrew that nut, put that gently to the side, remove the minute's hand. You'll notice how the minute hand also has a little washer on there, you want to be careful. Another nut too. Then take the hour, take that, put that right there. Here's a quick tip on how to take things apart and put them all back together, is that when you take off one piece, and you put it down, take off the next piece and lay them in order. So when you're gonna put them back in place, they're all in order. Next, take your pendulum and then move that to the side. With both hands, carefully rotate the cuckoo clock and lay it down. These two little latches hold the door shut, so we're gonna move them up. Place your finger inside this hole, lift this door, pull it up, and this is your gong. Next, we're gonna take a flathead screwdriver and unscrew all the main components down together. Now that the gearbox is freely moving, the only thing we need to remove now is the poles that activate the bellows and the cuckoo bird. Since the cuckoo bird is really easy, we're gonna take the screwdriver and just unscrew it. So now that that's moving, let's go ahead and remove the arms from the bellows. It's really important to know which side is connected to which gear. And uh, that's why we take a picture or make a video. That way we want to put it all back together. They simply slide off. That one just slipped off all by itself. And that one slipped off. Okay, so now that the whole assembly is free, what we want to do is we want to get the chain out of there. And we're going to clean the whole chain as well. And the best way to do that is with a Gerber. You simply grab the point where the two are connected together and then you twist and this slips off and you want to pinch the chain back together. Now we can go ahead and remove the chain assembly. Now what we're going to do is we're going to wash out any dirt or debris using soap and hot water. You also want to lather up that chain with some soap and hot water as it will get very dirty over time. Next you want to use a heat gun or a hot air dryer to get that gear, get these gears really, really dry. Next we have to get the chains looped back into this little assembly. It's actually a lot easier than most people think. So in order to do that, we're going to do this the easy way, and that's by removing the eye loops on both ends of the chain. And then close the chain link back up. From the furthest left hole, let's go ahead and insert the chain and give yourself a of slack. Looking at the gears from the bottom, this is where the chain sits when you go ahead and pull it. Lay the first loop on and then begin to rotate it. Just like that. Now that we have the chain pulled through, use the second from the left hole and feed the chain through that hole. Just like that. Using the hole that's on the right, insert the chain and give yourself plenty of slack. You can see that this gear is for this chain that uses the other weight. Put the first loop on that large gear and then they will fall in place. Rotate the gear and then guide the other end of the chain till it comes out the other side, just like that. Then you can pull this through. Using the second from the right hole, put the other end of the chain through. Next, we're gonna use Cuckoo Clock Oil, which is a simple synthetic lubricant. This is specifically designed for the gears in your Cuckoo Clock so that it'll keep them freely moving and they won't bind up. 
and you only want to get the synthetic oil that's designed for cuckoo clocks. I've also heard that if you try to use WD-40 on these gears, it will bind them up with all the dirt and the debris. So I'm going to leave a link in the description below so you can get this synthetic oil that's specifically for a special oil for cuckoo clocks. It's nice to have this because it's, it's designed to get into those hard to reach areas. Any part that moves needs the oil. You have to give it, you have to give it some oil, otherwise it'll just bind up. Okay, that looks good to me, so let's go ahead and put this back on. Gently guide the chain and the gearbox back into place. So looking at the bird a little bit closer, this little hole right here gets screwed down into this piece right here, and this attaches to the door. So every time the cuckoo bird goes out and he pulls the door, he shuts, he shuts the door. It's so cool how intricate and detailed that this cuckoo clock really is. This is one of the most fun things I've ever had to, to fix. So I have the door open to make this a little bit easier for me. I want to get that little hook inside the door. It's a little tough for me to see and I apologize for that. And let's go ahead and then we're going to take a flathead screwdriver and tighten that down. Okay, so we got everything all lubricated on both sides of the gearbox. We have the supports attached to the appropriate bellow. Now that we've got everything back in place, let's go ahead and tighten down all four support screws. Let's take the pendulum pin and put that back in. Take our gong and put that back in. Close that up. Gently turn this cuckoo block over. Next thing we have to do is put the hour and the minute hand back on and then when we get this mounted on the wall then we'll fine tune it for the appropriate time. But for now what we'll do is we'll put it at the same time that I left it at last and hopefully that'll take care of it. So just like in the same order that we took it apart we'll put it back together. So get the hour hand. Next thing we have to do is put the rings that hold the weights on. The two chains on the inside get the rings and the two on the outside get the hooks. And all we're doing is we're taking our girder, we're taking one side of the chain link and then we're twisting it so we can open it up, get the loop on, and use the girder to squeeze it shut. So before I could make my next point, my battery died. You see that the weights are on the outside and the pulley chain is in the middle. Next, let's go ahead and take our pendulum. Hook and hook it in and swing it. It is important that the cuckoo clock is nice and level so that the pendulum is sticking evenly. All right, so this has been one of the most fun Fix It Rick videos that I've made so far. And if you found that this was helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment below, and share this video. And always remember that Jesus Christ loves you, and only he can solve your biggest problem.